Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of September 7th, 2017. I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Brandon Zeck. And we're in Houston. We're at Spring Street Studios in Houston. Now, if you'll remember uh, last week, we did a top five of art events that were happening outside of the Harvey Zone. So elsewhere in Texas, not on the coast. Not going to be our new region, the Harvey Zone. The Harvey Zone. for I think for a couple of years, it's going to be the Harvey Zone. This week, we're going to do art events that are happening inside the Harvey Zone. So, you know, Southeast Texas, the coast, mostly Houston, um, because things are happening. The show must go on. So number five this week is called Gloss. It's at the Jack Meyer Gallery here in Houston. So Mike Schneider is a photographer here in Houston. For a long time, he's been collecting these very these old eight by ten negatives of Hollywood actors and these prom old promotional negatives, which used to be blown up and turned into promotions for Hollywood films and TV. And a lot of these have never been blown up. But he and Mike Daniel, another great photographer here in the Houston area, they've spent some time blowing these up into these big, beautiful, large format prints. And there are going to be twenty five of these on show at this gallery. Now this isn't so much about celebrity or glamour as much as it's about probably mostly the myth making that we use to. It's, it's a lot of the mystique and you know a lot of that kind of goes along with uh, in addition to being blown up for the first time this is the first time a lot of kind of the edges of the negatives have ever been seen because a little notes written on the negatives or little suggestions or. We have a preview of the show on Glass Tire this week. It's by Peter Lucas. We'll link to it. So number four this week is at the Houston Center for Photography. It's uh, Genevieve Gainyard. I hope that we're pronouncing her name correctly. She's um, a Los Angeles-based photographer and artist. She has a black dad and a white mom. She grew up in an industrial town in Massachusetts. She got her MFA from Yale, and a lot of her work is about is about this identity. Mm -hmm. She's almost kind of like a contemporary Cindy Sherman. You know, there are images of her with cornrows. There are images of her. Uh, being, you know, a domestic housewife. Um, and it's all about kind of exploring the ambiguity or the middle space of being biracial. And yeah, she's just exploring kind of stereotypes of Americana through these different identities. Number three this week is here at Spring Street Studios. It's hashtag Texas Artists Strong. Uh, so this is a one day only group exhibition and art auction sale uh, to benefit artists who were affected by the storm. Uh, so we're sitting here in Spring Street Studios looking at a whole lot of art that's been brought in from artists, I assume across Houston, maybe wider? Yeah, I mean, w artists are dropping off right now, which is, if you hear background noise, that's what it is. There will be hundreds of works in this show because they're still, still pouring in right now. It's a mixed bag. But you know what? I walked in and immediately saw a piece that I really want, so I'm going to have to come back on Saturday and get it. It's... It's, a, it's one of the, what will be many, many fundraisers and charity events for what has happened down here on the coast. And you know, 100% of the proceeds are going to benefit the Disaster Relief Fund for Texas artists, so why not come on down, find a piece you like, contribute to the cause. Number two is at Deborah Colton Gallery here in Houston. It is called Houston Foundations. It's a uh, focus on the 70s and 80s. Basically, it's the foundation of the contemporary Houston art scene through the artists who were very active here in the 70s and 80s. A lot of very familiar names, a few unfamiliar names. Mm -hmm. You know, th there's the people you'd expect, like Luis Jimenez, Mel Chin, Sharon Capriva, but then there are the people who may kind of fly under the radar and also are still active in Houston, like Ibsen Espalda or Perry House, Mike Hollis, uh, Burt Long, who passed away recently, but had a beautiful show at Deborah Colton's gallery as Dorothy well. Dorothy Hood is in this show. Dorothy Hood. There's a lot of programming around this show. I mean, I think that there's a there's a panel discussion this weekend. I think there are events almost every single weekend in the coming weeks uh, mm -hmm. around this show, around the history of Houston's art scene. And number one this week is basically everything that's happening down in Galveston. Uh, we're highlighting four shows. There's one at the Galveston Artist Residency that's a show of uh, moving images. So there's film, I think there's some animation, 3D modeling, that kind of thing. Um, and the three other shows, it's all Houston artists, and they're all solo shows at the Galveston Art Center curated by Dennis Nance. So there's Chris Cassio, Bradley Curl, and Angel Olashov. Galveston, I wouldn't say it's lucky lucky, but these spaces escaped some serious damage, and they're able to open this weekend. It's a good excuse to go down there and support them. And these are good artists. I mean, these Houston artists who are showing uh, at the Art Center are, while. are excellent. We're going to go down and see what we can tomorrow. And get and get shell objects. <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna get a shell trivet. We're gonna get a shell picture frame. We're gonna get 
shell mittens. All right, you're going to get a shell picture frame, and then we're going to stop at NASA, and I'm going to get a NASA bumper sticker and a NASA coffee mug. So, Houston is reopening this week, and Galveston as well. So if you're here, get out there. Go see some art. Support your artists, and uh, we'll see you out. And we'll keep you updated. You know, we would love to have included some Corpus or some uh, Rockport or some Beaumont on this list, but, you know, a lot of those places are a lot worse off, frankly, than Houston is right now. So keep your eyes and ears open to those spaces. We'll be informing you of anything you could do for them or any updates they have.